Happy New Year! 2023 has come to a close and oh, what a year it's been. And it seems like every day has brought with it new meteoric highs, new record lows, and a few mediocre in-between things that somehow ended up being the most emotionally dysregulating of all. A politician who was caught lying got removed from office? What is happening? I'm overstimulated. The broken system is not brokening right. One thing that 2023 brought us was everything unpredictable. From right here on YouTube where a previously celebrated creator was revealed to be problematic, while another previously celebrated creator who had previously been revealed to be problematic started their makeup brand, and another other previously celebrated creator who had previously been revealed to be problematic and previously opened a makeup brand saw that brand beginning to lose steam and loosen its chokehold on the market share of clunky, unnecessary eyeshadow palettes. <sighs> and on a personal note, I've realized that it's my own run-on sentences causing the majority of my daily stress. In 2023, all the events in mainstream pop culture were just as unforeseeable. Gypsy Rose Blanchard is the coolest person on TikTok. Taylor Swift's tour generated like a billion dollars, and now she goes to like a billion football games. Dozens of Nepo babies were exposed, for which they are all now facing their standard punishment of zero consequences. Jonah Hill is a controlling dick. Joe Jonas is a controlling dick. Barbenheimer, Selena Gomez wore that blanket. And of course, the event that has remained my personal favorite, who amongst us won't remember where we were on the night that Angela Bassett did the thing. Angela Bassett did the thing. Oh, and I guess technology keeps on happening and like science probably has more of those cute little glass beakers with liquids in them. I really don't know because I learned how to remove that stem section from my TikTok feed altogether. In fact, why should I stay informed about technology when now technology can stay informed about itself? That's right. This is the year we started to say goodbye to normal intelligence and hello to artificial intelligence. And if it's anything like artificial sweeteners and organs, it's something that will at first seem like a miracle, but then quickly be discovered as a harbinger of death and destruction for thousands of people. Cheers to the hubris of mankind and all of our terrifying, unknowable futures. At least they were once unknowable. Because today I've used artificial intelligence to predict some of the most memorable pop culture moments that are awaiting us in 2024. And I've also commissioned a human artist to sketch out some illustrations of what those events might look like. And let me tell you, it's going to be quite a year. Today I'm sharing a list of outrageous, unprecedented, and completely believable scenarios that artificial intelligence predicts may happen over the next 300 65 shitty little days. So tear up your tarot cards and upcycle your crystal ball into a giant anal bead because all that's required to look into the collective destinies we share are the machines that we keep teaching more and more stuff until they become self-aware and decide to catapult us off the planet. So smile because the future looks bright to the point where it's burning our faces off. On today's AI assisted look into the abyss installment of Clip Breakdown. <laughs> Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another installment of Clip Breakdown. This is the playlist where we look into our favorite movies, TV movies, and other such content here on the web. And we break it down like the fortune teller who told me to give up on my dreams of ever dancing professionally. And she never even pretended to consult the oracle. I was like, you could see all of that just by looking at my aura? You said, no honey, I could tell all that by looking at your body. Do you see how bad your posture is? You need to see a doctor. And we look at each individual prediction and production <laughs> to decide if our future is going to bring us all of the things that we dream and hope for, or if it's just gonna be more headlines about Beyonce that people read on their lunch break. Before we get into it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. Turn on notifications. Let's get to it, mama. Midnight's coming. Some quick context about the AI that was able to predict these future events. It was from DarkGBT, which is a version of ChatGBT that has all of the sensors and filters and morality shut off so that you can actually get some real answers. I uh, just asked certain superlative questions, like predict the most shocking celebrity couple. There were some times where I had to add additional prompts to get them to be specific enough for our artist today to sketch them for us. These sketches, if they look a little rough, it's because the artist was accepting the challenge to do them in just like three or four hours today because of my poor planning. So thank you, Abu Bar. Now, without further ado, let's get into the productions and then look at the pictures. I first asked the chat bot to predict the, I'm gonna put this Red Bull here so that it doesn't look like I'm drinking straight up urine, just some context. The first prediction I asked Dark GBT, GPT? Is it chat GPT or BT? Too late, we don't know. I asked them to predict the most shocking celebrity cancellation that would be happening in 2020. 
2024. Who's getting canceled? Turns out, beloved and respected actor Robert Downey Jr. Mm, is exposed for engaging in illegal activities such as money laundering and fraud. The evidence is undeniable, leaving fans devastated and questioning the true nature of their idol. Robert Downey Jr., this is not good for you, but it is better than what they originally said. I had to ask the AI to tone it down on some of the child abuse, because that's that doesn't seem fair when these are hypotheticals. <laughs> Let's take a look at what our, our artist has sketched for us for this particular outcome. Ah, uh, yes, the Iron Man looks sad here. He's holding his own Iron Man doll, and he's stuck behind a yarn jail cell. I don't know who broke his arm. That must have been during the struggle with the police. Shh, well, that's what you get. You don't do the crime if you can't pay the time. How dare you launder that money by funneling it into my Avon business. You should have your blush, pa you should have your blush palettes and foundation samples within 12 to 6 business days, and thanks for joining my team. I wanted to get digital as well, because I'm a digital creator, if you didn't know. For this next prediction, I wanted to get digital, because I am a, a digital creator, if you did not know. So I asked for a prediction for the biggest YouTube drama. What was going to be the lash gate of 2024? I swear I did not tell the chatbot what celebrities to use here, but they still came out feeling very relevant to my brand, in terms of the people that I regularly make fun of, because it says, the clash between James Charles and Jeffree Star starts over a collaboration with the prestigious makeup brand Glamour Glow. I think they mean Glam Glow. Out of touch and classist remarks fly, fueling a vicious online war that highlights their elitist attitude. To quote James Charles, Jeffree Star is a pitiful peasant who's trying desperately to grasp the success and refinement that I effortlessly embody. Jeffree Star is quoted saying, James Charles is a lowly commoner who stumbled into the beauty world and only pretends to be royalty. He's nothing but a flashy imposter. He would probably also say he's dark and disgusting. This feud not only divides their fan bases, but also exposes a class divide within the beauty community. Wow, societal issues at large. As the battle rages on, their mental health and professional relationships suffer the consequences. Ooh, I wonder how they handle their like um, upcoming decline in mental health. I wonder if they gain weight. Cause it shouldn't just be me. I'm just kidding. It's normal. It's normal and I'm normalizing it. Let's take a look at what our sketch artist created to represent this future. Oh, we've got a sneering James Charles and a, Je a, a Jeffree Star who looks like a a very nice lady. <laughs> he looks like a la some lady in a, a makeup commercial, but they both have um, face masks on, which we love. James Charles' toothy grin is definitely on show. And uh, they're looks like they're having a relaxing day with their Glamour Glow products, which I hear are garbage, by the way. Makes sense for these two garbage creators. Just kidding. Everyone's valid and human and whatever. Number three on the list. There's 12 of these, by the way, because there's 12 months in a year, if you get it. What if these all happen for real in the same month that I predicted them? That would be so smart of me. I asked what the most viral movie moment would be. You know, I was thinking like how everybody was doing memes about Barbie or Barbenheimer became a thing, combining Barbie and Oppenheimer. And we have this astonishing prediction. In a highly anticipated superhero film starring Gal Gadot and Chris Hemsworth, a shocking plot twist reveals a secret alliance between the two iconic characters to establish a world domination plan. The hashtag Supreme Villains goes viral as users unleash their creativity, connecting it to other feuding public figures in pop culture who may actually be working together to harm society. Kanye West and Taylor Swift are hashtag supreme villains of prioritizing their own image and agenda above all else. Megan Fox and Michael Bay are the hashtag supreme villains of making offensive remarks and creating a hostile work environment. <laughs> it's true. Michael Bay does seem like an asshole. Let's see what our sketch artist did with his prediction. Oh, there's Gal Gadot looking very heroic. And Chris Helmsworth, that's a very good recreation of Chris Helmsworth's face, I think. Next are their new trending hashtag supreme villains. Are you, the, who will be the next supreme villain? Me and Toast are the supreme villains of being late to everything because again, my bad time management and her always needing to go for like another walk. I asked the chatbot, what will be 2024's hottest new couple? Here's what we have. Envision a scandalous romance between Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Lana Del Rey that fuels tabloid headlines and paparazzi frenzy. Their passionate love affair is marred by a constant infidelity rumors and public fight, leading to a tumultuous and toxic relationship that captivates the public's attention. I want to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson fight Lana Del Rey like right now. They could do a wrestling match on pay-per-view and I would pay $300. Also, who do you think is the one cheating there. I feel like you would think it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but it's actually Lana Del Rey. She meets a lot of bikers at that Waffle House where she works for fun. Let's take a look at L Lana The Rock Johnson. Lana Del Johnson, that would be a good couple name. In their in their custom human created sketch. I didn't use AI for these, don't come for me. <gasps> oh no, there's Lana wearing her 60s era pant and the Dwayne The Rock Johnson in his wrestling outfit. I guess he that's what he wears on his off days now that he's an actor. Being spotted by the paparazzi
paparazzi holding hands. Lana Del Rey, I'm so sorry that you look like Khloe Kardashian. I'm just kidding, she's beautiful too, but she's not as sad looking in the face and I need that for my Lana Del Rey. Number five, what is the going to be the biggest Hollywood scandal? We're thinking like um, like Harvey Weinstein levels of, of scandal, bad stuff. This says an explosive scandal will happen involving influential figures, Quentin Tarantino and Scarlett Johansson. Johansson, exposing their involvement in a high profile blackmail ring, targeting fellow celebrities with Emma Stone as one of their unfortunate victims. Emma Stone, no. The shocking details emerge revealing that Tarantino and Johansson possessed explicit photographs of Stone taken in her private moments, wearing a mismatched collection of socks on her hands to create hilarious scenarios. <laughs> That is fun. I had to ask it to tone down like the nudes and sex pictures and stuff because that's not true yet. We don't know that it is. We don't know that this is the future. So it's unfair of me to say that about Emma Stone. And then uh, maybe this chatbot is like changing the future as it predicts it. Either way, the dark sock puppet underbelly of the film industry is exposed, revealing a web of manipulation and power dynamics. Now, sock it to me. That's a scary prediction. I stand with Emma Stone. I also have sock puppets that talk to each other all night and, and keep me awake. And I wish that they would leave me alone and I hear their voices even when I don't have socks on my hands. Emma, help! Time to take a look at this unfortunate predicament from Quentin Tarantino and Scarlett Johansson. There's Emma Stone with her trademark beautiful smile. <laughs> That does look like her. We have the almond shaped eyes. And look at her cool sock puppet, a, a dragon and um, Gandalf, I would imagine. How cute. She's off there in La La Land with her sock puppets. Terrible comedy is obviously a total snooze fest. And I only like my snooze fests to take place when I'm trying to get sleep at night, especially looking forward to the new year. I'm turning over new leaves all over the place, but having the foundation of healthy sleep is really important to me, which is why I am so grateful for my ally in that battle, Helix Sleep, the sponsor of today's video. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding. I took their very quick and very easy sleep quiz and was effortlessly paired with the Helix Midnight Lux with Glaciotex cooling cover. I tend to run hot in general, both in the summer, out here in the desert, and at night it gets really cold, so forced hot air can be a little stifling as well. But this outer layer on my Helix Sleep mattress helps keep me feeling cool and breezy and comfortable all night long. The bed itself is perfect for me as a side sleeper who used to suffer with neck and shoulder pain. Helix ships right to your door for free anywhere in the US. It's rolled up in this box and you as an individual can set it up without any problem at all. You can see me doing that right here. My little Pomeranian doesn't have a lot of upper arm strength, if you can imagine. So it was just me. I didn't even break a sweat. I got my Helix sleep mattress over a year and a half ago during the summer. And no matter what the climate is outside, no matter what I'm going through in my personal life, I sleep like a baby. Plus I learned recently that other mattress companies as a way of stopping like flammability might put fiberglass in their mattresses, which no. TikTok has all of these videos about these lawsuits happening with other brands. Helix owns their whole manufacturing process, so they can let me know for sure that there is no harmful fiberglass in their product. Sleep is so personal to everybody, and that's why Helix gives you a 100 night sleep trial to make sure that you can lay down on that baby and get the best sleep of your life without having to go into some mattress showroom and laying on a communal bed. And Helix offers flexible financing options and payment plans so that you can access great sleep at any budget. Helix is always upping their game. They sent me recently this knitted weighted blanket, which I love a weighted blanket, but again, I get hot. This knitted style, it like breathes so beautifully while I still get all of that snuggly deep pressure. I love my Helix mattress, and I think you will too. Their end of the year sale is running right now. It's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off your Helix mattress, plus two free pillows. I use these pillows every night, I love them. Click the link below, scan the QR code, or go to helixsleep.com slash Doramio to find out more about this limited time offer. You gotta get in there before the new year if you wanna save big. Thank you so much to Helix for sponsoring today's video and helping me feel rested and ready for the new year. If you didn't know, we are living in the age of the reboot and the nostalgia craze. So I wanted to know what will be 2024's highest profile movie reboot. So imagine this, a highly controversial reboot of Harry Potter is in the works with Emma Watson and Daniel Radcliffe returning to their iconic roles. I feel like I heard something about this. The new storyline delves into the character's struggle with addiction and mental health. Nice. Exploring darker and more mature themes that challenge the innocence of the beloved series, such as prejudice and discrimination within the magical community. I knew someone would 
would eventually bring this up, and now that dummy J.K. Rowling has to reckon with the racism that she wrote into her book. They will delve into the origins of pure blood supremacy and the suppression of other magical beings, yeah, the house elves, and the consequences of such deeply ingrained beliefs. Yes, tear down the establishment, and the establishment is Hogwarts School of Bitchcraft and Bizardry. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, that's a grizzled, older, gray-haired Harry Potter. He's so old that you can't even see the scar on his forehead anymore because it's been wrinkled out. It's it's his skin texture that's done it. I'm so sorry, you're a wizard, Harry, but you're just older. You're an old wizard with your glasses on. Um, good luck with your new show or movie, whatever. Most talked about award show moment. We're thinking Jennifer Lawrence falling in her Dior gown. Miley and Robin Thicke doing that dance. That time Kendall Jenner couldn't read the teleprompter, which is something that I think I talk about the most in my life. This year it's gonna be picture an award show where Beyonce delivers a powerful acceptance speech addressing deep-rooted corruption and nepotism within the entertainment industry. Her bold word spark debate and expose the dark side of fame leading to a reckoning that shakes the industry to its core. This pivotal moment becomes a catalyst for change as artists, industry professionals, and fans demand transparency, fairness, and equal opportunities for all. They're talking about this America? This America? The paradigm shift that follows reshapes shapes the music industry, challenging the status quo and paving the way for an ethical and more inclusive landscape. That would be great for the music industry. Can we give rock and roll back to the black community then? Hip hop? No, nope. okay, it's too late for that. Black community, just invent some new music and we promise not to steal it this time, it sounds like. And there's Beyonce. I guess she's tossing her her thing, her trophy to the ground. She said, I don't need this award. I'm here to talk about the unfairness. We're wearing a lot of capri pants in this future, I see, which is great. Beyonce looks awesome. Nice, beautiful hair, gloved hands of different sizes. And that microphone is the only one large enough to capture the power of her beauty and her voice. Back to internet culture. I wanna know what the most memeable moment is. I'm thinking about like, um, I don't know, Cash Me Outside or Ain't Nobody Got Time For That or The Apparently Kid who was on Ellen DeGeneres. The most memeable moment from this year is going to be during the 2024 presidential election in a bizarre turn of events, a candidate accidentally trips and falls into a pool of neon colored slime during a campaign rally. I, where did that neon slime come from? I don't know. Maybe that was Flint, Michigan. That's just their local reservoir. Prompting a flood of hilarious memes and viral videos. The image of the candidate covered in slime attempting to maintain composure becomes a symbol of unexpected mishaps and serves as a humorous reminder of the unpredictable nature of politics. The moment is shared, remixed, and memed relentlessly, bringing laughter and entertainment to the public during a tense political climate. That's great. We need something to cut the tension as those monsters try to take our rights away. <laughs> because whether you're on the left or the right, you hate being covered in slime. Let's take a look at the picture. Oh, wow. A crowd of people. I think the politician is in the suit there. He's not as covered in slime as I, as I envisioned in this picture, but I can't imagine that being a real meme of like someone being covered in slime and just trying to act all cool. And it's like when everything's going wrong and you um, act like it's not, or like you're trying to act, you smile your way through a huge mess, whatever the deal is. You can see the examples on Twitter in your mind. Look at all these people in the background posing for their gap calendars. By the way, Abubakar, I'm not making fun of your work. This was was a very fast job and I'm very proud of you for getting it done on time and so effectively. The kids are always making up new words and I wanted to know what would be the hippest new slang term in uh, prediction number whatever, because I've already lost count. Turns out Billie Eilish and Lil Nas X, two favorites of mine, so way to go, dark GBT, unintentionally coined the edgy slang term dreampocalypse. Dreampocalypse, okay, love it, not really. But their kids are gonna say what they're gonna say. Riz, I don't like that either, people talk about it. Anyway, this word, refers to a state of chaotic creativity and rebellious self-expression where individuals embrace their dreams and aspirations while challenging societal norms and expectations. It represents a bold defiance against conformity, encouraging individuals to fearlessly pursue their passions and break free from the constraints of society. Dreampocalypse serves as a rallying cry for those who embrace their uniqueness and reject the limitations imposed on them by the world. Way to go, teenagers. Embracing counterculture, rejecting conformity, you're the first generation to do it and we're so happy for you. Dreampocalypse now. Billie Eilish and Lil Nas X, where did that word come from? Or where is it going to come from? Maybe they do like a song collab together. <gasps> Lil Nas X collabs with Billie Eilish. I'm very excited. They're like, dream apocalypse, dream apocalypse. It's a lunar eclipse, a lunar eclipse. 
just drinking my piss and singing a song. Let's look at that vision for the future. Oh, that's a very recognizable Billie Eilish. Lazier eye than I think she Eilishly usually has. Love her twiggy inspired lower lash lines. And look at the dream apocalypse happening up. It's like a whole city being apocalypsed by dreams, which are gay asteroids. Every dream you have is a gay asteroid smacking you in the back of the fucking head. Enjoy. Number 10 is our most divisive fashion moment. I'm clearly fashionable, fashionista-ish in a way that you can't even quite behold. And that's why I'm very interested in the upcoming news that renowned designer Alexander McQueen unveils a collection that pushes the boundaries of artistic expression and societal norms. We've got a lot of boundary breaking stuff happening this year. Good for us. One standout piece from this collection is a dress adorned with intricately embroidered barbed wire, symbolizing the entanglements and restrictions imposed by society. Oh my God, society, you're always all over my body. This provocative fashion statement ignites heated debates and polarized reactions. Supporters applaud McQueen for his bold and his ability to challenge convention, while critics argue that the dress is while critics argue that the glass glor while critics argue that the dress glorifies violence and promotes a disturbing aesthetic. The divisive fashion moment becomes a lightning rod for discussions about the meaning of fashion, the role of designers as provocateurs, and the blurred lines between art and controversy. Oh, is Alexander McQueen just doing it for the shock value and the clout? Or did he just embroider a nice dress with a really cool design? We don't know. I'm guessing I know which one the conservatives are gonna choose for that side. Fucking future conservatives. They suck even worse than the current ones somehow. Let's look at this beautiful dress. I hope that he just illustrated the dress outright. Oh, yummy. F layers and layers of fluff. I guess we're going for a very Victorian silhouette in the future. I'm here for it. Look at those long sleeves. It's gonna be real, real nice in the summer. Everybody's gonna need to wanna invest in some good hoop skirts this year. I would suggest going to Walmart and just just getting a hula hoop. Drain out those little noisy beads inside and you've got a hoop skirt, a dupe skirt, and a scoop dirt. Next up, the biggest cheating scandal. This is different from a Hollywood scandal because although it might involve some Hollywood players, it could be any big public figure. And it's specifically about affairs, romantic torrid romances. So here, envision a scandalous affair in 2024 involving two prominent living public figures from different spheres. The scandal unfolds between the influential tech icon Elon Musk and the revered human rights activist and the revered human rights activist Malala. Allah Yousafzai, whose unwavering commitment to advocating for girls' education and equality has earned her worldwide admiration. And Elon Musk, he is just Ken. Despite their public personas and commitments, the secret liaison becomes a captivating scandal that rocks the media and public alike. The affair is exposed through leaked emails, intercepted phone calls, and testimonies from insiders who witnessed their clandestine encounters in opulent hideaways. <gasps> like a Chuck E. Cheese. The scandal not only tarnishes their reputations, but also raises profound ethical questions about power dynamics, personal integrity, and the personal integrity and the consequence of indulging in forbidden love. Yeah, I can see that coming up. I already have ethical questions for Mr. Elon Musk, and I don't know how to feel if Malala is gonna go for that man. And she's already married, so that makes it a cheating scandal. In case you didn't know, I did have to Wikipedia that. The chatbot knew it more than I did. Let's see what that looks like. I don't even know if I wanna see what that looks like. Oh, okay. We've got Elon Musk with the tiny body and the disembodied head. Uh, Gosh, I don't like saying that. Of Malala floating through space. I assume that's a SpaceX UFO. Um, and I don't know, we're just capturing it on film. Gosh, poor Malala. She had to survive that horrifying gunshot wound to the face. And then the even worse fate of having to sit through one single dinner with Elon Musk in his shiny face. You know, we do have an election coming up this year as this pointed out. I swear I remembered on my own too, Chad BBT. Anyway, I wanted to know what the most outrageous political headline is. These headlines get nuts when Donald Trump starts talking. But, uh, uh, Cancel the government. So the most outrageous thing is going to be time travel scandal rocks presidential race. Candidate revealed to be future self as opponent. Now this would fucking break my psyche in half. In a mind bending twist, evidence surfaces suggesting that one of the presidential candidates is in fact their opponent's future self who traveled back in time to alter the course of history. <laughs> That's insane. We don't even need to have time travel for this to be true because they have time travel in the future and someone came back and ran for president. We did not vet these candidates well enough. Enough. Can we start just doing background checks? Simple credit checks probably would uh, fingerprint, fingerprint them and we would know, but I guess not. The revolution, the revelation triggers nationwide frenzy as people grapple with the implications of time travel and the role it played in shaping political events. Yeah, we have to question everything that's ever happened if there's time travel. People could be coming back and messing with the timeline all they want. So I really did get my orange belt in karate uh, after one try. It was just someone messed with me. That fucking sensei went back in time and, and made that block of wood harder to break. And I will never forgive myself. It sparks intense debates on the nature of destiny, free will, and the 
ethical boundaries of manipulating the timeline. As the nation tries to process this surreal turn of events, conspiracy theories run rampant and the political landscape is forever changed. Oh yeah, there's gonna be some conspiracy theories abound from that and I'm excited to see what they are. And I'm excited to hear them from you crazy, crazy conspiracists. I'm not invalidating your beliefs, I'm just not believing them. Let's see what this time travel moment looks like. This would be a good like um, like HBO series concept, I feel like. Oh wow, Pantsuit Margaret is giving her debate and then apparating right next to her is the uh, space traveling version of her. I guess you can apparate in the future. You can like teleport, I'm guessing is what that is. She's like cloning herself from the future. You don't age in the future either. These are all great things to look forward to in 2024. And I can't wait to experience them all with you, all of these travesties and horrifying revelations and awful things things that are true. It's gonna be quite a fun time sitting through all of this and watching people yell about it on 24 hour news cycles. <gasps> Hopefully they don't overthrow the government again and stage a coup. But there's nothing stopping them because they're gonna get reelected anyway. Same person who did it, it's coming back. That actually wasn't predicted on this, so I'm not manifesting that in any way, knock on wood. What do you think is gonna happen in 2024? Do you feel like these predictions hold weight? Let me know in the comments below. Also give this video a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you wanna see even more chat GBT boo 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 beep boo predictions and AI influenced um, art concepts. Thank you so much once again to our sketch artist today, Abubakar Shaukit for throwing these really fun illustrations together um, in such a short period of time. If you look at the rest of Abu Bakar's portfolio, when he's given the proper amount of time to draw things, you would be even more impressed with how great his art skills are. If you aren't already, by he probably had like 10 minutes to devote to each of these. That's a lot of drawings. So i um, very thankful to you, Abu Bakar, and thank you so much to everyone for watching this. You are all the greatest. Most importantly, have a happy new year. And click that subscribe button right over here if you haven't already. That way you'll always be the first to know when I'm teleporting from the future with a, or from the past, cause it's a video I recorded to bring you a new video. <laughs> Make sure, turn on notification. Yeah, whatever, you heard it. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you so much for listening to my horrifying sock puppet secret today. I will see you next time. <laughs>